I am editing the sample form. Now I'm not in the legacy forms, I'm in the new Google forms. Um, so you'll notice it does look a little bit different. So you go under responses up here above where the editing is. So when I go to responses and I go down, I can get a pre-filled URL. So I go ahead and click on get pre-filled URL. It's going to take me to what looks like the live version of the form, but actually what I want to do is type into the fields the pre-filled information I want to know. So if I'm going to share this with students, I wouldn't pre-fill their ID number, their name, or their last name, or their email address, but I would pre-fill in what the warm-up question is. What is the quadratic formula? When would you use the quadratic formula in real life? And question number three, what is an x-intercept? Obviously, you can type in whatever your warm-up questions are. I'm a math teacher. So I have put in here the pre-filled information that I want to have by default. So then I come down to the bottom and I hit submit. I'm not really submitting the form. I'm submitting my pre-filled answers. So when I click submit, it says share this link to pre-fill the responses. So this URL, I'm going to copy this right here. And this is what I would share with students. I might go to goo.gl, goo.gl, and I just paste in the URL so that I can take it from being really long into being something short. So now I can just share with students that they should go to goo.gl slash capital Z, capital W, lowercase l, um, lowercase t, lowercase i, and they can be taken to this form that will be pre-filled. You can also click here on details, which is right below the goo.gl link. And when I go there, it will take me to a QR code. So if you wanted to share this form with students, maybe if your students have iPads, this is a great way to get students to fill out forms on their iPad is to share a QR code with them using goo.gl. So if I go to that link, you'll notice now when you open it up, it's ready to be filled out. This is actually the live form, but it has each of the warm-up questions already written in. So what I would want to do in this case is every day I would go back to the to the editing screen and I would go to responses, get pre-filled URL, and I would fill in the warm-up question of the day and get the pre-filled URL for that day and post that daily for the students so that you, it's the same form. So for me, it goes into the same spreadsheet. So I have all 180 school days, all 180 uh, form responses submitted to the same spreadsheet. So it makes things a lot simpler for me because I'm only dealing with one spreadsheet, but I can have a different warm-up question every single day.